So, thanks for coming back. We're doing this. You've done this before. It's a Judas run. Bam. Don't die. Sad onion. Very good way of achieving the plan. Let's see now. I don't really fancy being on the cellar as Judas right to begin with right now. Uh, until we've had an HP upgrade or a sincere damage upgrade to make us a lot more powerful or survivable. Uh, we run a strong risk of getting hit too many times. Although I feel a lot better that there's currently red hearts on the ground uh, already in the floor. So if we do get hit once, as long as we can make it out of that room, we can heal ourselves. And it's only half a heart, so we don't feel like we've got bad economy. Oh, this is just... Whew. Well, we do have Book of Belial. Book of Belial has, of course, been nerfed. It doesn't guarantee us to deal with the devil anymore. I believe it still gives us a strong deal with the devil opportunity. So we're going to try and make... This is probably good. We're going to try and make a beeline for the boss, which we have succeeded in. That was a sort of second part of the plan. Prime directive, don't die. We'll use the boss, we'll use the thingy, and we'll try to get hit twice on the haunt fight. Which uh, appears to have only one small ghost use, so I'm guessing that there's something special about this particular haunt that I'm not anticipating. Ah, okay. It didn't have very much HP. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, should we explore? I think so. That only took a minute and a half. Now we've got a shot speed upgrade, which is essentially a range upgrade. Uh, I think it just means that things further away from you will get hit faster, which is fine with me. Absolutely fine. It does make us slightly more powerful. I don't think the kinetic energy of your shots does any more damage, but it definitely makes us more accurate. And we're going to Mom's heart, so we can do probably uh, Hush on this run. I will save our key and not go to the shop. We only have nine cents. Nine cents is not enough to buy something awesome and I don't want to tempt myself to try and do something silly to get more money. We should just go. Try and make the most of our time. There's some cash right now which is really good. Sixteen cents. Hmm. Feeling good about this run. Uh, we obviously failed our Mega Satan run yesterday. But I don't feel bad about, badly about that either. You know, you can't you can't get the best out of every single situation. And I think the fact that we got to the Mega Saint fight and got so far through it uh, is it's strong. Very strong indeed. We'll take our key. Now we can go to the shop. If we can find it. Maybe buy something that we want. Probably just be faced with several items that are no use to us. Although, uh, Spirit Heart will probably be helpful at this stage. And that was a decent bomb. We won't go into that. Uh, hopefully for obvious reasons. No bombs still. I'd like to go into the shop and the item room before we make decisions like this. Careful here. Don't step on the spikes like a fool. Like a noob. Can we do it? We've done it. Oh, thanks. A bomb. Anything good enough? No. I was hoping for a crawl space. Why did I get a, a fly this time? Oh, I probably already had it. The champion gave us flies. That happens. Pay attention. Proptosis! Absolutely. Don't care about the points. I do care about the fact we now have proptosis. There's a tinted rock there we couldn't get even if we had any bombs. There is another tinted rock on the floor. That should be our bomb priority, and maybe we can get a bomb from here. We can't, although we should probably take this. Uh, which means we need an extra coin to actually get that spirit heart, but that should be easier than getting them in the other order. If we can get the one coin to do it, we would have. Well, if we could have got the coins necessary to get the spirit heart first, which I don't think we need, we're doing really well. I haven't even used Book of Belial to a considerable extent, or I will use it here, even though the boss is next, because I'm very scared of that giant. Uh, I will shoot these. If we're ever going to find a way of getting the scent, it's going to be from these abundant fires. No? No sense? Well, no sense letting it go to <laughs> No. Stop trying. You're not a comedian. There are funnier 
streamers. We will absolutely take this, just in case. Well, we should probably take Gimpy. Uh, I know we just rejoiced at the opportunity to have HP, but now I'm rejoicing at the opportunity to have Devil Precedent. Uh, we can't get that, unfortunately. We will try not to accidentally walk over the other one and kill ourselves on a deal with the devil by accident. Accidentally, this is our shop, I think. It is. We will take this and we will scarper. We don't have another coin uh, key. We don't have another key. So although there's a double key room which we could have probably made effort to get into, I don't fancy exploring the rest of that floor. I'm not even convinced there was any more of that floor to explore. Uh, so that's where I stand on that uh, particular issue. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the policies that I have for this presidency, you can read my manifesto online. I'm not going to go into detail. Suffice to say that Isaac will be the national sport. Be careful there. I don't like this. Get rid of it. There we go. So the pin fight obviously didn't need the Book of Belial, so I think we made the approximately the right gamble. There's some more spirit hearts from a tinted rock, and ghost baby is not worth the points. That may be worth it were we Lilith. I would probably consider that uh, on a Lilith run, but this is not a Lilith run, as you can imagine. Uh, hopefully the fact that we're not playing as Lilith right now should be enough information for you to have deduced that for yourself. Were it not, then I'm glad to have spelled it out for you in no uncertain terms. We haven't got enough coins to make that shot worthwhile, but maybe we should think about exploring the rest of this floor because we're so extremely fast right now. We know where the boss is, having beaten it, nearly. That's my favourite form of pestilence. So we should go find stuff, pick up some consumables, pick up some points, get the exploration bonus. We're very fast. Proptosis obviously helps with this. I will go this one, this, this one first. <laughs> uh, proptosis is dangerous for someone like me, who is a terrible player, because it encourages you to be closer. Just doesn't doesn't fill me with confidence. This is probably the secret room, given the fact there's a path to it. Oh, there's a spring. Look at me, I'm right. This may have cash in it. What with the cash in his eyes? Yeah, there's a nickel for us. I'm thinking it may be worth going to the cursed room. I know it'll cost us a heart d'esprit. But, uh, yeah, well, I'm doing it. Okay, there's a thing in here. Anything? No. Well, it was worth it to take the damage. Uh, but, which was, of course, me being facetious, it was absolutely not worth it. By any respect. Die. Good. We've seen this particular arrangement of envy before. We blow up things next to him and do a lot of extra damage. Although I'm not entirely convinced that the tears that we waste on the TNT are weaker than the TNT that we blow up with it. And we will not take that. Let's go in here. We'll open these. There's a nine lives, which is definitely worth taking, especially now that we've healed ourselves by half an HP and have nine lives. I haven't forgotten our trinket. Uh, our trinket has, I believe, has a chance to re, re resurrect us as Blue Baby. Unfortunately, we've seen what happens when I play as Blue Baby. So, although it's a, oh, it's sort of an ace up our sleeve if we do take even more stupid damage like that. Uh, it's not something I want to rely on. Bombs are key. Haven't we seen bombs are key? And don't we therefore recognise it? it? Suggests to me that. You can have the same key more than once in a rotation, which is new. Key. Pill. Key. Pill. Have we met? No. Ah, yes. We have Steam Sale, of course, so we can buy things. I think Night Light may be worth buying? Uh, we don't need it. We won't buy it. It's not strong. It's not a strong item at all. It's it's a cool item. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty, uh, pretty neat effect. Ah, this is well worth it. But... Uh, its effect is simply to slow enemies that get close enough to you that are in the beam. And the beam points where you walk. So it, it does its, you know, its disadvantages to begin with, in as much as it's kind of difficult to use. It's not always prudent to use it. That was close. Uh, added to the, that, the fact that what we really need is damage. 
Uh, maybe some range to sort of help proctosis. You know, guppy things, that sort of thing. So we're really going to be looking for a champion belt in the shop. Uh, many shop passes, possibly even chaos. Oh, you got in the way, you douchebag. <laughs> Might as well have just shot Larry Jr. with my tears. Uh, other good shop items would include... We could probably make something happen with a golden hourglass. Maybe. Uh, anything that gave us a decent amount of HP. Yeah, iron bar. That's a damage upgrade. Nuns have it, maybe, to allow us to use Book of Belial every time we do something stupid, rather than just every time we succeed. A few times in a row. It's another case where I'm thinking maybe we should use Book of Belial here instead of the boss fight. Uh, we might take this. I've got nine lives, so I'm not entirely interested in... We've been to an item room, yeah. We've got nine lives, so I'm not hugely interested in coming back as Blue Baby, and the extra speed upgrade should... Ah, speed is one of those stats where if you don't have it, you really need it. And you can kind of forget how important it is. We did get uh, rescued just now. Don't know if you noticed, by Cuban Meat. Blocking Gerdy's shots. Gerdy ain't got nothing. This is good too. Damage up and a speed up, like I just said. And, if we take this... We get an even more uh, damage upgrade. So, we are now as far balling out of control as everybody else who's playing this seed. Which is several thousand people. Let's explore some more. Even these rooms that we just pop our heads into and leave again. Uh, give us exploration bonus. So there's no reason not to, we're so fast. We're only getting faster thanks to that deal with the devil, which was stupendously good, because it spent our only HP on something which gives you a huge benefit if you have no HP. Red HP, anyway. On the next floor, we might be able to benefit from EG Empty Vessel, which, again, we get an HP from the boss, we spend it on Empty Vessel, that would be ideal. Uh, might take this. Counterfeit Penny will give us more cash at the end of the game. Uh, let's do this right. There we go. Oh, this room there. One shot in these things is very valuable to me, and I dodged that, so... All you naysayers. See me dodging? I'm getting it. I can do it. Look at me, Mum. Okay, I'll just leave that room so that the shot doesn't hit me. I think that's probably the coward's way out. Now its way out normally involves suicide, but in Isaac, that is not necessarily a way out. In fact, that's obviously a way forwards. That's often a way forwards. We can get into the double key room with a bomb. We don't have a bomb. Oh, that was bad. But the Gimpy helped us. Guppy? No, but we got our spirit heart back from just now. Telepills? Are oh, you a wizard? Telepills? One makes you small, that's alright. I'm really fast now. Right, you come over here now. No, 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 no. Now, 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 now. Well, never mind. Are you a wizard just wear off before this guy's dead because I'm too scared to get close? Ah, you. I thought this was the mega fatty that did the. the gate cage attack. You know, the rocks that spray out from it. When it dies, when it lands, and. This should be a reasonably easy help. <laughs> How easy would you like it to be? I didn't get hit by that. By some miracle of miracles. Ah, oh, I don't really care for that. Wasn't this... Where's my spirit heart? It's up there now. Curse of the maze, you've done this thing. Which I never like. <laughs> I don't need to ask. Uh, I don't want to be in here. But we got slowed down. Actually, I'm gabbling. Please, please shush. We actually slowed down to some extent. So we need to make a bit of time, but we did get a good exploration bonus and only took a little bit of damage. So that little bit of damage will count against us. Well, I don't think it's as bad as it has been. Anything good? No. That could have been an opportune opportunity for uh, maybe a 
a decent card for boss rush. I'm not sure what a decent card for boss, boss rush is when you are intending to do boss rush. Probably something like the magician or strength or the devil or blah blah blah. If you get um what? no. <laughs> not on a daily. If you get HP on a rune after you've entered it with the Whore of Babylon active, you don't lose the Whore of Babylon. So we could theoretically use a strength card to have diamond. Nice. Just use that straight away. Take another key. Uh, no, I don't want that. We could theoretically use a strength card after entering boss rush were we to get one. Hypothetically, let's say. We could hypothetically use a strength card on boss rush to get even more strength, even more damage, and that 1 HP of survivability without wasting, without squandering our uh, Horror Babylon bonus. Benefits. We found the boss again. We found the ice We found everything. We're going so fast on this run. We just happen to be picking the right direction every single time, which I'm fine with. We should use this. Probably make this Monstro 2 fight go a little bit quicker, which is valuable. Uh, of course, he was dazed, which is annoying. Oh! I <laughs> nearly got hit by those crossfires. Luckily, I did not. Monstro 2 is one of those... Uh, dazed is basically the same as feared. You don't know where it's going to land when it jumps when it's feared. Or dazed. Just, just stand still. <laughs> oh god. Why can't I bait him into firing? Never mind. Uh, no. There is no deal with the devil here, and therefore, taking that HP would actually be worse for us than not doing, because it would ruin our Horror Babylon. And the Horror Babylon is one of the things that's getting us as far and fast as we are managing right now. Uh, along with Proptosis, of course. The Horror Babylon Proptosis run is up there with the greats. Just one shot of these. Anything good? No. We'll probably be out of here by 16 minutes if we can swing that. But I'd like to find maybe a, a curse room or some other special room just to give us that little advantage that other people may not have. Don't make me wait. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. There we go. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, that's 16 minutes. Out. Uh, I think we should leave. We definitely... We c boss rush is not an option. This is a daily run. It's all we've done for quite some time. Just pizza Jebben doesn't want to play, apparently. Eyes it's too good for him, apparently. Family is more important, apparently. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I saw Guppy's head. Well, I did. <laughs> it wasn't the item. It was the head of Guppy that's following us. I'm glad that there's that little refractory period whereby you can't accidentally pick up item. Because I nearly ruined Horror Babylon. I mean, if you found Empty Vessel at this point, we would pick it up uh, just for... Uh, no, if we found Empty Vessel, we would pick it up even at the cost of three Spirit Hearts, I think. Flight is exceedingly worthwhile, in my opinion. And if it doesn't kill you, it can only make you stronger. These things are nice and easy now. Not really putting up any resistance. There's some even more HP. We are rolling on spirit hearts. We've basically made ourselves into Blue Baby anyway. Um, ah, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were miles away from me, Sunshine. I think I can hit this thing without getting... Uh, pardon me? I think you have a, a place to be. Okay. You can just... Ghost your way. Ooh, ghost baby. Uh, rotten baby. Ghost baby's terrible. Who would be excited about ghost baby? No one. That's who. Except maybe Lilith. As we've already mentioned, this is the mom fight. Uh, we could just go to it straight away. That would be short sighted. It's a daily run, as I keep harping on about. So we want to make the most of our opportunities to collect points. Consumable. Bumb. Don't really want to do that. Tempting as it may be. We can do our exploration on this floor. I know we had to leave it behind on the previous floor. But at least we know 
how powerful we are. Uh, we know, therefore, how long we've got before we need to hit the mom fight. And we also know where it is. Come on, let's get this up. It's the shop. I will do it. Uh, that was pretty, pretty uh, clutch MLG play right now. PhD is good. I don't mind PhD. Infested. Might as well just take it now get spider, right? Take this bomb because I accidentally took this bomb. We'll take this in case we need it. We are only going, going to be wanting to do... How did you know? Did you see those things? They closed in on me. Uh, probably just going to leave this room behind. Yeah. We're going to want to do a hush because we will be able to because... I'm presuming it follows the same rules as boss rush in as much as when you beat the mom fight you get to still do boss rush. We're doing mom's heart which means we should be able to do bus, bus, boss, bus, hush. Rush. Wow, we're fast enough for me to completely ruin that dodge and yet succeed at it. Right, let's go. We still actually need to reach the mom fight. I don't think it'll take more than a minute to do it, but I also want to give ourselves time to have a look in the deal with the devil and for it to be Krampus, which is inevitable. So we're not doing a uh, considerable amount of damage right now. The flies are going to help, but we're not making them quickly. It's not like we're guppy, right? Uh, I guess we take the Polaroid. Uh, we should go into the deal. With oh, I didn't go to the deal with the devil. Well, that was slightly noobish. Tooth shot seems like a good. Oh, or maybe. Mm, that's going to be. E. This is a difficult choice. I think I'd like Mysterious Liquid, but I don't want to risk the HP. So we'll take Tooth shot. We'll try not to get hit by the bloat. We'll use our Bucket Belial. And we'll waste <laughs> the bloat. Alright, we beat the shit out of the bloke, which really makes me happy, because if you've seen any previous videos, which I'm sure you have, the bloke sucks. I'm really bad at the bloke, I hate the bloke. We should see what the other enemy is here. It's... oh, you. In that case. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I expected to happen. This thing's brimstone attack takes out everything on the screen. Approximately everything. I don't know whether it's literally everything, or whether it has rules. Uh, I don't like that particular... I don't know what that new Dingle boss is called. Uh, I know it has an individual name separate from Dingle. We're not uh, guppy yet, so we can't fly, which is mildly upsetting. You, what are you doing up here? Uh, but, uh, that's okay. We're doing fine. We don't have to worry about the bloat, so it doesn't matter if we're standing at the bottom of the screen instead of the top of the screen. We've got these flies. We're kicking ass, it's fine. Especially when things start approaching us. I don't think Book of Belial stacks, unfortunately, so... Our best bet is probably rather than... Um... Oh, I nearly caught that bullet. I literally tried to catch it with my face. Rather than use it several times in a row, uh, we should... <laughs> I'm concentrating, sorry. Rather than use Book of Belial several times in a row, we should try to just save the charge, basically. Okay, that's good. Is this creep? I think that's creep, so I won't. I will avoid accidentally. Oh, oh no, no, no. This is a bad place for you to be. Okay. And you're up here. I like it when Polycephalus is visible. This... I'll be honest. I didn't expect Rotten Baby to be this good of a, of a pickup for us. I expected it to be useful because Rotten Baby is a decent item, and we have good tiers, so you can expect that the, the the damage of the flies is going to be considerable. But what Rotten Baby is doing for us is attacking things I haven't realised are there, which is insanely more valuable than anything else anybody could do for me. I I don't recognise that. Oh, it's pin. Okay. I was thinking, what is that noise? That's not a noise I even recognise. It's pin. I don't recognise it because pin doesn't usually last long enough. We need to be careful here, because when the haunt sends itself to the top of the screen, that can hurt us. Oh, we want to try and get rid of it before it does any... yeah. I think that was one fly just added itself to the fray there. And just absolutely kicked off. So I think, in hindsight, you know, I know I hedge my bets a little bit, and I don't give myself enough credit, apparently, but... We probably could have taken toxic splash damage. We could have taken the serious liquid on this fight and been absolutely fine. Especially with these occasional teeth that sound like someone's applauding us every few shots. It sounds like the um, 
the clap sound from a, an old Casio keyboard's drum synth pattern. Uh, I'm trying to bait Monstro 2 into doing its brimstone. Oh, there we go. So we can get in close and beat the crap out of it with the highest power tiers we have as a result of proptosis. Uh, there's one more, so we're going to need to deal with that and then not worry about that for a while. I'm um, stuck behind a rock. It's fine. Did I already kill the Blighted Ovum just now? Is that what happened? I saw the Blighted Ovum and I went, oh, now you're dead. Lucky. Tell you what, I played a really decent game on Saturday, since there's obviously nothing else to talk about. Uh, called Blood Rage. It's a board game. And you take on the part of clans of Viking warriors. And you have to earn glory by dying in Ragnarok and going to Valhalla. And um, the gods help you. There are cards, god cards, and they give you benefits. And each god, obviously, is themed. Ah, oh, we're done. What did we win? Halo of Flies? We'll take it. We need to go quickly. Uh, we probably should look for the secret room. Maybe not. We need to go quickly because we want to do hush and also we want to get the bonus from going quickly. Right, this is the sort of thing. I took a lot of damage on these rooms yesterday. I, I strongly remember that. Not fondly, just strongly. Uh, because, you know, give me some some benefit of the doubt here. It's pretty difficult to dodge those lasers because you have to sort of preempt when they're going to fire. Which is sometimes easier said than done. Hey! Oh! We've got three orbitals, so that's actually really helpful for us. Black Feather. Don't know what it does. Let's take it. We have this High Priestess card. Uh, we couldn't use it on the Mom Fight, because it will stomp you if you use the High Priestess card on the Mom Fight. I actually did that on purpose. I don't know if any of you were watching. <laughs> but the, the play that I made there to complete that room was entirely intentional. Let's go this way because we haven't explored it here before, apparently. We should probably go this way. Oh, I very much like an Emperor card or something like that. Just something to speed up this floor or the next one. We've only got... You know, we're going through the floors nice and quickly. Uh, the rooms nice and quickly. It's just not what bothers me. What bothers me is the fact that I don't know where I'm going. We haven't found our way yet. Dug ours. We'll just use it. Uh, I'm hoping to use the High Priestess to speed up a fight or other. Um... Careful. Good. Probably could have used a fly for that. Never mind. What's done is done. Open sesame. The guards again. That's even more HP. I'm happy. I'm cool with it. I feel like the boss is this way. I don't know about you. What do you reckon? Answers on a postcard, please. If you, uh, if you bet that the boss is this way. And you win. We should probably have a, a little um, waiter in the comments. Ah, well, I'm wrong. Although, we must take the waiter from when I said probably this way. So this direction still counts, but it's not this way. Okie <laughs> dokie then, and I still don't creep. That's okay, that's what HP is for. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so that's fine too. I am not a fan of how slowly we're going as a result of going the wrong way. Um, yesterday we did really well by accidentally finding the path to the boss uh, too sweet, but not this time. We have nearly got enough keys, however, as a result of going the wrong way so much, to get to get the most out of the hush floor. So we just need to actually succeed in getting to it. I'm going to be very upset. Well, I'm not very upset. You know, I'm going to go home and cry to mum, but I'm going to be a bit put out. Uh, if we don't get to the hush fight, because obviously that's going to be where everybody else gets their points. And I don't... You know, we went exactly as fast as we needed to to get to boss rush, which is the, the suggestion. But this floor is just hoodwinked us constantly. It was right here all along. That's okay. I think we can probably manage. I'll use this here. Make it a bit quicker. That <laughs> just got rid of Loki, basically. Uh, and this helps too, and we'll go quick, quick, quick. Right, three minutes-ish to get out of this floor. Let's make it so, I think, this way. Not this way, but at the same time, the dead end is mercifully quick. I don't care about consumables, we've got six keys. If a key happens to drop, we will probably go for it. Otherwise, yeah, 
Right, now I don't care about consumables at all. Sloth, please die. Thank you. Death. Death will help. This way. Well, you know it's this way. That's a good start. This thing, by the way, can't be killed until everything else is killed, which is bloody annoying because it's in the way. Okay, good. Sun. Ah, yes, perfect. Now we can go exactly where we need to go. Don't care. We'll use this. Get it over with. Look, I'm panicking, I'm rushing. Uh, I'm trying not to take dumb damage, but I can't guarantee anything. Excuse me. Let me out. The flies are really helping us. As soon as we get a fly in and it actually hits the boss, it basically doesn't matter what we're fighting against. It's dead. We'll use this again. Get through this room nice and quick. The flies again. Gonna help. And the Book of Belial plus flies equals super powerful flies. Uh, leave this way. Oh, we're running out of time. I think we'll do it. Only because we're so strong that uh, the mom's heart fight should not be too difficult itself. Not sure whether it's going to be mom's heart or uh, it lives. Now I think about it. Good. Leave. Good. Doesn't cost anything. Nice and easy. And gives us the spirit heart back that we lost doing it. And we have uh, invincibility. Die. Faster. Right, we've got a minute and a half to beat this fight. Come on now. There we go. That's dead. Uh, that was an odd thing. I didn't do any of the things I expected it to do. And it looks like we're fine, if I'm being honest. Yes. No hush rush. That does surprise me, actually. There's no point doing either of these, right? In that case, screw it. No hush, right? I'm not being crazy. There is no blue wound. Ah, that will be because... Um, answers. That'll be because you have to leave the hush fight on the next floor. It sends you to a different place. What makes you small? I probably won't take this. If, if you don't mind. Um, doesn't fill me full of confidence. There you are. Excellent. Now, this may be something other people did not do. Uh, we've got algaes, we've got algaes, we've got the Kano, which we'll use. And Dagars. So, we're not in a rush. We will take Dagars down to the next floor. We're going to get an extra floor. This may be a seam that many people have not discovered. We'll use Dagars straight away, which is very good because we did in fact have a cut. Oh, that was terrible. And I think we're strong enough to do this floor without worrying too badly. But the fact that we got it is a great opportunity and I'm pleased with myself for having made the effort to explore the rest of the floor because anybody else who was rushing like I was to get to Hush may not have realised the, the situation vis-a-vis. -vis. Yeah, you don't get to go, <laughs> basically. If other people didn't realise you don't get to go and they rushed and they went, oh well, you don't get to go and then finish the game, they wouldn't have gone to the cursed room. They may have picked up that sack and discovered the super super room, but not gone, oh, we'll go to that now. Therefore not getting the AWOS room, and therefore not getting to this floor, which is going to put us so far ahead of the curve, it is just not funny. Now, that being said, I expect that I am not the most proest player of Isaac in all, of all time, and will not be the only person who found the AWOS room, Runa, and used it. Also, I am clearly not the most proest player in Visor of all time, because other people would not have used it straight away and gone down. Other people would have done the rest of the other floors to gave him more points. So we missed a trick there, there's a few points that we could be getting and aren't. Uh, not too salty about it. Um, honestly, the fact that we managed to do this floor is going to set us apart from the pack sufficiently. And this is a... Yeah, I don't mind doing a, uh, a fallen fight if it's going to be that trivial. Same as this fight, I think there's probably a secret room here. There is not! Well, colour me supply... Splash. Oh, try that again? Do you want me to try that again? I could do. I've got nothing else to say. Well, colour me surprise and call me Mandy. Yeah. Tickle me surprise, tickle me pink, colour me pink. 
paint me paint me pink. Paint me brown and call me tingle. Here? Oh, we've got enough bombs, we might as well find it. Maybe on the other uh it might not be next to a Previously it could be next to these thin rooms. And then people went, Edmund WTF. Uh, they may have fixed it. So. Well, all we have now is one data point to show that it is not next to one of those thin rooms. This is also often a secret room. And this is a skull and several rocks, so I thought I'd just try my luck. No, um... No tinted rocks so far. And that coin head bastard didn't have any coins in his head. And I walked into that... Like a mofo. Help. Oh, I'm invincible. Fine. That's okay. Look up. Look me up when you're in town. That was fine. All the explosions happened away from me, which is why I want explosions to happen. And that was fine. And this is HP? No. Too much to ask, I guess. Look, we've only got two hearts, and we have to not die. Still got Satan to beat, don't forget, who is right here, just saying. Fudge! We have got nine lives, so all we need to do is beat Satan with, you know, one of them. Which makes me think perhaps we should not use the Book of Belial uh, straight away. The reason for that is if we do, you know, heaven forfend, die on the Satan fight, because it's probably going to be hard, I can't believe there's no tinted drops though. Let's have a proper look. Um, we will have red HP when we spawn, when we respawn, which means we will not have um, Horror of Babylon. Now, if we don't have Horror of Babylon for the second round of the Satan fight, we're going to want something slightly better, or you know, to make that to make up for it. E.g., Book of Belial. So we're going to try not to get hit twice on the Satan fight, which can be done, especially with a run this powerful. 128,000, so we should be up at the 32s for the end of it, just for beating Satan in the first place. Maybe in here? See, that's where I would have even expected a super secret room, maybe here? No. I'm going to look for one. Um, it's costing us points, but I think the fact that we're getting these points is so, so much better than the average person would do that I can afford to spend the time points, as it were. And of course we've got uh, this option here. It's not there either. I will give it one more look up here, because if there's a black heart in it, that's going to make so much difference. We have got enough bombs, b -b -b bombs to seek it out. Where the hell are you, super secret room? I know I said one more look over there, one more look over here. Well, ain't I a stinker? There's egg on your face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm just going. Let's do it. If we fail here, we failed on a lot of points. And I will be happy with that. There's no battery charge either, it's a shame. We did a. Uh, somewhat trounced the Fallen recently, so I'm not too scared of this. What I'm scared about is this particular phase, which is the hardest phase. You know, just straight up the hardest phase. I'm going to use this. I know I said I wouldn't, but I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling gutsy. Mr. Gutsy, call me that. Help. Don't get hit. Just don't get hit. We did it. <gasps> We won! <laughs> How many points? 32,000. That's amazing. 170th. Oh. Yay! Congratulations! I'm being congratulated from a different room. That is tremendously good luck. That just validates everything I was saying. Of course, Pete hasn't played, so I can't so show you how much I trounced Pete. Let's have a look in global, though. There's some people up in 42,000s and still dying. I guess they didn't manage to actually beat Satan. But these are going to be the people who've figured out what I did, and did the rest of the other floors too, so they would have been a lot faster than me, I think. Let's have a look at time. Why not? Where am I on time, actually? Mine. 4,084th on time. Well, that's not great, but we spent all that extra time getting all those amazing points. 
So that was not the train wreck we anticipated. That was the opposite of the train wreck. That was that was fucking that was Cartman's trapper keeper at the end of that episode. Do you remember that? So maybe tomorrow we'll have just as much fun, just as much luck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.